When it comes to selecting your tape, it's very important to get the tape that's appropriate for your surface. A lot of the blue tapes we've found will leave a blue residue when we tape our white ceilings. So we've gone to a delicate surface purple tape from SureTape. We use our green tape for shiny trim. And then we have a little bit of regular yellow masking tape for areas where the, the painter's tape overlaps itself. Because one of the features is the safe release does not want to stick well to itself. So anywhere we have a, an overlap of these, this tape, we'll take a piece of the yellow masking tape and just tape that down. We're in the process of taping the ceiling, and I'm going to show you a method that will help you get a very straight line against the wall and get good results every time. We're going to pull out about a foot of the tape. Now, a common thing that people do at this point is to take and smooth this. And what we want to do is just tap this so it finds its own natural location and then we smooth it out. We'll hold our finger here, we'll pull out another foot or so of tape. And again, I'm keeping this really flat against the wall. So see, it's just finding the straight line from here to here. And we just gently press this up to the ceiling and again, smooth it down. Now, we talked about the advantages of having maybe two people at this procedure because now I'm faced with getting down and moving my ladder. So if I had an additional person on a second ladder, I could just hand this to them. Then I get down and move my ladder and we move on. In this case, I'm going to do this by myself. I can pull out about, again, that foot, foot and a half, and I'll just hold this roll and I'll move my ladder. come up and I'll bring this back up and again holding the roll straight flat against the wall put a little tension not too much and then tap 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 that into balance and then smooth and again I'll hold my thumb here pull out another foot or so hold it against the wall and just gently push it up against the ceiling tap 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 and smooth now we'll get moving here we just pull out another section and smooth, move our ladder again. Process of masking our trim and similar to the ceiling, we want to use the same procedure, pulling out about six or eight inches, keeping the roll flat against the wall, and then just rotate this around. And again, at this point, just tapping, tap, 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 and then smooth down to the point where you stop, roll out another six or eight inches of tape, Rotate it down just slightly, and again, gently tapping this onto the surface. This will give you a perfectly straight line every time. Makes it quick, a whole lot faster than cutting in by hand. We'll get this trim masked off, mask the baseboard, and again, we're one step closer to painting. doing this with the wrong hand. <laughs> he can cut that out. Okay, you still good? Mm -hmm. At this point when we get to the bottom, we'll just go ahead and tear our tape, having enough to go all the way down. We want to go straight down into this corner. And we'll begin masking our baseboard. And again, as we mentioned, where we overlap our safe release tape, we want to use a little bit of the yellow masking tape because this tape does not stick well to itself. So we'll take a little piece of this yellow tape and we'll just make our corner nice and neat here. I know that's a little detail, but boy, this makes a difference in a good job and a bad job. We'll continue across the baseboard. The final step before painting the walls is going to be to finish masking our base. Now we've got our trim and our ceiling mask. We're going to use that similar procedure, keeping the roll flat against the wall. This is a really tough edge because it's usually very thin. So we want to just rotate this roll of tape down where it's almost touching and then just gently tap this onto this small edge. Then smooth, holding your finger where you last smoothed, pull out another six, eight inches. Just twist the roll down, tap it, and smooth. And just continue that process. You'll get a nice little rhythm. This will get masked off very quickly. Okay, again, 
we want to just press the roll firmly against the wall, go down to the trim and just rotate this and you'll see this drop down and just tap, tap, tap and smooth, holding your finger, rotating the tape. And again, this is such a small edge. This is really a great way to go. Get a nice straight line every time. Rotating down, tapping gently, smoothing back, holding the tape, rotating down, tapping gently, and smoothing the tape. Okay, we purposely wrinkled the tape here just in case you make a mistake. Now it's real easy just to hold the tape behind where you have a wrinkle or a flaw and pull the tape up and then again just repeat that process. Turning your roll, rotating it down and gently tap, tap, 